I'm not give us our Biafra. Peter B. Winnie, yeah, they're not going to give Peter B. Vote. Now they say nothing, but they're not putting him in. Now 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 they're Nigeria is the worst place. Yes, hellfire. Guys, welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Over here, we'll bring you the news on entertainment, sports, international, and local news. Let's continue the video. Nigeria as a zoo. Nigeria is a zoo. They have been holding Biafra down. But I thank God that um, our brother from America has won the election. I know he's going to do something. The president of America, the president elect, Mr. Trump, is going to do something over Biafra. Very soon and soon. Watch over, you will see that Biafra will come. Biafra will be cut out. Yes. Let them share this country. Make competition day. Because if they don't share this country, no, nothing like competition. Because if they share this country now, everybody go like to do their home state or our home side well. Yes. Then go use them well. But uh, if they don't share them now to bring the money and share. Nothing they go on. Nothing. We just the hungry. So Forget that. Must go. Yes. All right. Man. Yes. You know this is. Tinubu government to be sincere is not helping us. He's opposed to bring everything down so that poor masses we enjoy and uh, receive a. Uh, uh, Nigeria, uh, Niger, um, uh, president of Nigeria. You cannot even use one thousand naira chop a plate of food now. We go play for you. Nothing. That man is no longer trying at all. He can, if you can imagine what most of the free station now that they are working under NPC, which is not supposed to be so. He will let us divide this country so that everybody go go in way. So you're a I'm a Biafra man, no. 100% Biafra. 101. I'm not a Nigerian man. All right, thank you. May I ask you the last Biafra? Give Biafra. Aha. Uh -huh. December second. Biafra don't come. <laughs> December second. Biafra don't come. I mean, I don't, I don't give you that. <laughs> <laughs> it would then do so us. We can create things to eat by ourselves. So, but by God's grace, if they do that, Biafra, we will not die for hunger. Even if we suffer for a short time, in time to come, we will enjoy. So I beg, Nigerian government, more help us. I beg. Then they have December down, they pass up. Yes. Yeah, even I don't even think of December. I don't even think of how to pay my children's school fees. Finish for this time, more than day. Talking of next time. So that's December own. Although we believe in God, nothing God knows fit to do. He can change every situation to come around All right. for good. Thank you, thank you. And God bless you. Uncle? Yes. Uncle, 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 are you there now? Are you Uncle Biafra. I'm the hungry, I'm the hungry. So you know who talk this morning? I know who I talk, I know who I talk. Oh yeah, now, nah, later now. Nah. Uh, later. Unless you eat the food. Ah, uh, no food. That's it. <laughs> uh, uh, a, new, a new country is coming for, for Nigeria. Tell us, tell us. Let us know. Let Nigeria know. I've been on, you never hear about Biafra before? You never hear about Biafra. Biafra. You never hear about Biafra country before. Uh, so the, everything goes goes smoothly. The way, the, the way Nigeria, then are, are you are you okay? So if you are not the president of Nigeria, will you divide? The I can country? never, I can never, I can never. I know, but I can never think to be, be a Nigeria because Nigeria is a zoo country. A zoo. I can never, I can never participate in myself as a zoo country. A zoo country uh, uh, is that, do you know the meaning of Nigeria? Do you know the meaning of Nigeria? Nigeria, Nigeria the meaning of Nigeria is the Niger country. Niger, Niger country. Yeah. So I can never be part of Nigeria. So living in Nigeria now, you are saying it's the worst place any human being can ever I can, I can never, I can never be part of Nigeria. So I'm not a Nigeria. Nigeria. I'm yeah, not a Nigeria. I can never be part of Nigeria. This place we are now. This place. This is in, in Biafra land. Igoacha in, in Biafra land. In River State, Portacourt. Don't, don't, don't cut him. In, don't, it's not a, a Portacourt. Igoacha, are you hearing me? It's an Igoacha. In Biafra so land. If you, if you are saying you are coming to Potako from Aouda, so you say I'm going to Potako. Do you this is this is Igoacha. Are you not hearing me? This is Igoacha. It's not Patakot. What is the meaning of Patakot? 
Uh, he, he go watcha in, in rivers in Patako in, in, in Biafra land. Okay. He go watcha in, in Biafra land. He go watcha. So he go watcha in Biafra land. He go watcha is a Biafra land. Yes, yes. But you call them and say they are not. I spoke with you, I asked the question. They said they are not Biafra. Some people go tell you like that now, because uh, you know, uh, you get some people. Why some people fuck their mama? They not their mama. So you know, go talk to that, that, that those. The men, the men, uh, 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 people. The men, the men in Bamili people, being uh, in Gocha in, 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 in Biafra land, they can never tell you say they from they not be part of Biafra. Is Akwa Ivo and those states, Delta states part of Biafra? What will you say of those states? Too? Are they Biafra or they are? What will you call the, them? You know now nah, all those places are Biafra land. We are Bia France. 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 How do we realize this country? When is it coming to fruition? When is it coming to pass? Very soon now. Have you, have you, have you not seen what is happening? To show you say Bia France is at hand. Are you not seeing you know, see what is happening? Are you not seeing it? Are you not buying bread? Are you not buying food? Are you not seeing what is happening? So, all those things, my, my, my director, my assistant man, the character, tell you, say, when, when those things happen, you go, no, say, Biafra is at hand. You understand? So, I, I always believe my man as a director, not the Carlo, because he always make us to know that when you be able to suffer like this, you know that Biafra is at hand. Just like the kingdom of God is at hand. These are the evidence of. Thank you very much. Coming to the yes. All right, thank yes. You, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank if you say that it's in the middle of the this at least no two walls like this. What does that mean? So, as it can't be like this, things not get as it be. So, I say, be. Oh, now, take the bone at least. Oh, now, take the bone at least. Make him make sure I say this is full of a chain. Make full of a chain. Make him calm down. If he calm down, things go a little more less down. So, now, where have you problem? Now, for them, the main measure, nobody talk about say why I say something because they will say they are same by that. So, one says so transport make everything they costly. So, if the transport, no, the transport make up. If you make if you make transport, they they that way for a good that now. Transport now, no, they cost and everything. When everyone will bring out in in go in goes down. What does that mean? But I say, but now they go by now. I'm going to say, ah, only everybody ask me say, nah, nah, for a no day. So, the transport they higher and I'm like be like that. Sit down comfortably in your country and you know, create ideas on how to remedy the common challenges of the country and provide your own solution to make sure there is peace and progress in this country. The on Tinobu administration is one and a half, almost and a half years now. Would you say the young have made any progress since Tinobu become the president of Nigeria? Well, for my, for, for my own assessment, what I can tell you for sure is that Nigeria has been retrograding under Tinobu's administration. Take for instance, how much did the Buhari left for a price? 200 naira. Now we are hearing about 1,400. Is it not backwardness? Is it not evil? Something that God gave us free. Government of Nigeria is not paying God any money to enjoy this crude oil. The one byproduct of this crude oil that is meant to benefit the Nigerian people. They are not using it against Nigerian people. To me, Tinibu have not come to remedy the challenges of this country. Rather, you have come to increase the, the poverty, the suffering, the pain of the masses. And I called Mr. Tinibu, the president of Nigeria, to take a rethink and start thinking on way forward for the progress and the benefit of Nigeria at large. Renew hope that was promised. The main culture is inconsequential in as much as the practical aspect of it is not being felt by the people. So I don't believe in that. All right, thank you so much. It's the government that makes the life of the people meaningful. So they are next to God. Without them, your life can never be meaningful. We are the one that elects people. Are you saying that they, are, they don't elect people? Those people force them, impose themselves on us. In Nigeria, I don't think um, that we have ever gotten it right, right from the inception of this country, since from 1967 till date. I don't think that we have gotten because, um, like the last local government election that just finished now, you see most of the people that won the election, majority of them are cultists. I have to say it. Because why I say so is that um, they have their leaders, they lead them, and they are grooming another group of gangsters that will take over from them. 
if you see most of them that won that election, majority of them are not graduates. They are all the street boys. And tell me such people that cannot manage their life as a people, left alone, you want to go and manage crowd, you can't manage your immediate family. Now they want to leave a whole local government for you to manage the life of every other people. How can you manage those people? So we have never gotten it right. But That's the, the problem. Democracy is for the people. Nigeria is supposed to like, like, these people, the population of Nigeria is more than the people that are ruling. How do they manage to own a journey? Like, they hold us in captive. Okay, sir. The problem is that um, we have a few set of people that the government knows that they are the king peace. Unlike Ateke, Asari Dokubo, Tom Polus. These are the three peoples that are in this Niger Delta and South, South and Southeast. And they are the gatekeepers for these people. They know when Whenever they empower them, they will empower their boys and the majority of us, there's nothing that we can do about it. Because they are the people that would have rose up and fight for we, the masses. But since they have empowered them and there are few of their boys, buy cars for them, Lexus and other view. So based on that, there's nothing we can do. And even though we go out on protest, it is those boys that they have paid that will come at us. We are protesting, they will shoot and they will kill us. Nobody will like to come at us. So that's the problem that we are having in the country as it stands now. So the federal government is responsible for all the sponsoring people at the detriment of Nigerians. They, don't, they are not in touch with the realities of Nigerians. They are the problem of our countries. And they are the people that are sponsoring those gatekeepers so that they will secure for them. And if any of them you want to wake up to challenge, maybe Ateka Asari or Tompulu, they will send their little, little boys on the ground that they are by Lexus and tell you that they should go and smoke this person. And the next thing that they will come to you, they will tell you, hey, oh boy, you won't spoil my shoppings. You know, it's an idea where they're from, they get my shoppings. But you will not understand that this in your doing at the detriment of your own brother. And that's what is going on. So there's no way we can hold our government accountable. The only time that we can hold our government accountable is that these our brothers that are the gatekeepers should understand that the way that we are living in this society is not the way our life was to be. And the life of our people and that of their brothers ought to improve more than this. When they come to realization, that's when we can grow as a people. But until then, we can never grow because they have given them the sugar. Few of them are enjoying the sugar. And they are the gatekeepers. That's the problem that we are having in the country. Thank you so much for your time. Yo. One last message you have for President Tinimbu. Um, the message that I have for President Tinimbu is this, that President Tinimbu, if you cannot restructure the country, you should go back to 1963 constitution. And I believe that was the best constitution. And at as then, Nigeria was growing at their own pace, which is the regional government. Yeah, yeah. Let everybody control their resources, what we have, and take little to the center. That's my message that I have for him. Thank you so much. No, nobody the pursuit each other. The others, where they are also like, you remember that they will say nobody will pursue each other, but at least them, for me, they, they will carry this and come to Nigeria. So no, they have people are not be one Nigeria, we are not one in Nigeria. Which one be Nigeria, one Nigeria again? You, as you say, you see the top one Nigeria. No. One Nigeria, no, say again. October 1st, you don't see what happened from October 1st. What do they happen when you say Nigeria, they was right now? Everything, 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 everything. To see food, the job, Wahala. Fuel now for for one, two months now, I don't pack my motor. Hold the mic for me. Hold on for you now. I don't want to talk. talk. I said I don't want to talk. talk. For two months now, I never start my motor where I pack up. Fuel. I will carry 1,300 naira. I go buy a liter of fuel. How much food where my children will eat for house? And I look at my age. Look at my age. Check now. How many years it been for me now to follow my ancestors? 120. Uh, I know we now you talk about it. So what do I mean be say Nigeria don't jaga jaga? Yeah. Nigeria don't scatter. I beg. If you go fit see them where people where they consign, tell them say make they share Nigeria. Make we we'll do something in order to undo us. But the only person that is sustaining us is God. You understand? Nigeria should know one thing. The Igbos are covenant people. We migrate from Israelites. No matter whatever you do to us, you can't finish us and you can't defeat us. You understand? So, if they don't remember anything during the war, then try to wipe all of us away, but they couldn't. And after the war, no matter amount you have in the bank, they give you only 20 pounds. Look at that 20 pounds. Go to Lagos now. The whole skyscraper there, whatever is a find something in Lagos. Ibo is there. You go to Leg uh, you go to Abuja, the same thing. 
you come to Port Harcourt, dissenting, you go out, uh, outside the country, dissenting. So when you are dealing with a covenant person, you must be uh, careful because one day God will take revenge. Okay? What they are doing is to oppress Igbos, but they cannot. They cannot oppress Igbos. Uh, in fact, that is the best uh, because our president uh, have no capacity to rule this country, which everybody here know himself know because he told us that I heard directly from him from television that he bought this election with a three three loan. Hey, Ava. With a three three loan, which he knew that he did not win the election. It was on that board. I say it is a stone because they planned something before. It's after this thing. Now you go rule. That is why he was boldly saying, it is my turn. That is not election. Since they fail to give to P2B, since they fail to give to P2B, everybody must suffer it. Now, Alsa is crying, Yoruba is crying, the Ibos are crying, but our crying have a limit. You understand? So, our president has no shame. His governors have no shame. The ministers have no shame. Therefore, they, all of them have disappointed this entire country. They have no capacity, ability in everything to rule this nation. For that reason, they should drop. They should resign. They should resign. Is this River State? Biafra? This people say Land. This side is not land. But can you argue this thing with an inquiry? Say in this place. I go prove I'm not here. Not be in state. Not be in state with this. Here in Yoruba land. This place is like Igwocha. Uh, Igwocha. Not be. Not be. Not be, not be in the river state. They said they migrated from Bini. No, no. Bini they far. Mm. See my state here now. Mm. See other state here now. Mm. What do they want to mean now? Me and you, you will be journalists. It's a bit the history. It's not supposed to read the history of Nigeria now before you carry this in the waka. Now, wow. Okay, Nigeria, they prepare me. Did they prepare me? Then I said, I guess more knife they took my body for the Nigeria. Hungry day everywhere. Everywhere they dry. Because of, um, I don't know, I don't know if you're saying our president, I guess I'm already before the president. That's his uh, sister, uh, things are already spoiled. I don't go judge him. As I talked before, I don't judge my fellow man. Be man, be woman, and they judge my fellow man. Be. So, Tinibuna, he come to carry on, go. So, another person in town to the come. Oh man, go carry on, go. Uh -huh. My friend was talking about Biafra. Give Biafra, uh -huh. December 2nd, Biafra don't come. December 2nd, Biafra don't come. I mean, I don't. You don't give me this. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Biafra. Yeah. What's that about Navicalo incarceration? Okay. And uh, uh, that it will take it, it will take me much time. But I think they my this is my time. Don't do. Uh, uh, just two minutes. Okay, two minutes is not enough for me to speak okay, about my leader. Okay. Um, Nigeria government, I keep on saying it. Let them swear I shame. And beg the young man, including the president of Nigeria, to kneel down. All of them should kneel down on ground. Eh? Commode their cap. Commode their cap. They'll promote every proud on their body. Eh? We will see repentance in them. Eh? Now they can forgive them. And free the young man and say, okay, go and see no more. Fail to do that. All this is where they happen. Let me let me give you something that will shock you. Ever since they hold it now, they can't. Things in Nigeria is from this year to here. From here to here. The same time when they go to Nigeria, they will hear say, monkey, monkey swallow money and ask a rock. You can't ask yourself, would it be all this magician? It wasn't at the time of Pharaoh and the Moses. Understand me now? Moses and Pharaoh, I don't understand. Where they knock a rod for ground, it's like a comat. And not for this one, water comat, they drink. Now, what is that for Nigeria today? They hold on the canoe. The more they hold on, the more they are suffering more. Yeah? No player 
Even if you know, they come buy all the ammunition, come. Like, go see them, they kill themselves. Yeah. That's all. Now, the only thing that we know, we know, we know, reduce any issue. Rather, it will attract more it calamity. Yes, yeah, 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 calamity in Nigeria. Yes, not the best. Yes, thank you. God bless. Let me go to you. Oga. It's Nigeria. Now, what I want to ask you is this, Simon. If today we have a better system of government, are you hearing me? A better system of government that is taking care of both the, of, uh, the welfare of the people and the security of the people across the country. Are you going to change your mind about Biafra? Because the problem in the country, let me just finish, because the problem in the country today is just bad governance. If we have a better system of governance that make institutions to work at local government level, we have the basic amenities, basic services are provided to the people. Education, healthcare, uh, affordable food stuff, good living condition. We have all those basics are provided. And at the center, people are well represented across the country. So that nobody will talk of marginalization. Are you going to change your mind about Biafra? No. Why? So because yes. Biafra is looking for a better government. So yeah, let me explain to you. Because, okay. this is, because this thing you are saying is not possible under Nigeria's structure. Even if you bring, even if what do you, are you a Christian or Muslim? I'm a Christian. Even if you bring Jesus Christ to come and govern Nigeria, he can never change anything. Because even uh, as Jesus Christ was born, he was crucified and killed by people. Now, yeah. Nigeria was not structured to provide these things and this leadership we are talking about. And that is the problem of many of you, because if you understand the problem of Nigeria, you will be in the forefront, like Sunday Boho fighting for the liberation of your people. But because you do not understand that, that's why you are here to tell me, if this work, if this happen, if this how are you, where are you going to start? Okay, okay, let me just answer you. Mm. Because uh, me, I have gone too far. I have seen a lot in the country and uh, I've been trained to the highest level of administration in the country as a retired senior army officer. I looked at the problem of the country and I decided to come up with a new constitution for Nigeria. I don't know if you can see a copy here. I came up with a constitution that take care of all the tribes, all the, uh, what do you call it, the, all the groups in Nigeria. Please, if you are, if you are going to, if you are going to ever go visit South East, don't have your ID card though. If I, if what? Don't ever go to South East with your ID card, if you are in Nigeria and... Or no, so I, I know, I know there is problem in the South East now, yeah, we are so trying to... I'm just advising you as person. No, I understand you, I'm, I'm only, we are trying to solve problems now. You, you know one thing, Simon, mm -hmm. when we got independence, we had problem in Nigeria, when we were running parliamentary system. And how did the problem happen? The problem happened in the western part of the country. Today, if any group or any region decide to secede from Nigeria, and you don't have the right system of government, the same problem we are, we are facing in Nigeria today, we will face it in any of the regions. Okay, so you believe, you believe the, the problem of Nigeria is in the constitution? Of course, that's why I have to write the new but constitution. That, but, that is not, but that is not true. Let me explain now, let me explain. No, no, uh, Ad Adeni, we have, yes. uh, we have less than 10 minutes and there are three more people left. So yeah, let, me address, let me address him because he's, uh, he's, uh, his argument is based on the constitution that he claimed that once he presents his constitution, Nigeria will work. Now let me address him. The problem of Nigeria is not constitution. And when I listen to people talking about Nigeria constitution as a problem, I just laugh at them. The Latin and Latin Constitution has a provision where they recognize a lot of rights. So have they respected that? There are provisions for Nigerians that are protected under this Constitution of 1999. Have they respected that? That's what I'm saying. Now there are a lot of blue so say, Why are you bringing under that Constitution where they have not respected the one they have? That's what I'm saying. If the one that bringing is, re is respected and it is practiced, it that is for all that's the that's what I'm telling you. Let them respect what they have first, which they have not respected. So what they that one, that one, that one cannot work. 
I'm, I'm not in, in support of Nigeria's national constitution. It has a lot of. But, but it is working to some extent. It is working on this uh, um, uh, uh, exclusive. No, what you want to the realize? They are like exploiting. They are exploiting the root loopholes to to, to get uh, to what do what things for their benefit. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That is so that's clear. So if if, 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 if you are nice. Yes. If you are now together now, fight the loopholes. Are able to block those loopholes and come with the right condition for the country? The country will move on. Because if you if you if you if you go to Biafra now and I go to Dua, and at the end of the day we don't have the right condition for our various group, we will still be fighting each other. No, you understand me? That is, the, that is the point because the Nigerian yes. Nigeria problem is not in the constitution. It's it, an ideological. Just let me tell you now. It's a historical, ideological, and uh, a religious problem. So, and this cannot be solved under the current mentality that Nigeria has for many decades. It's a historic problem. So, as you, as you are now as a military personnel, you know how what you you know how you how you serve Nigeria. And then you compare it to the people in your status that are from the northern Nigeria. What which which rank did you attain before you retired? Uh, I think it was a corner, but uh, if you want. Okay, now okay, let's say okay, let's say it was a corner. Now I will ask him. Did he mm -hmm. think that if he is from the northern Nigeria and they have probably the kind of uh, education he has acquired under Nigeria military, he will, he will retire as a corner? Is a question yeah. open? Yeah. You see, you see, you see if that, that's, there, there are a lot of things happening. Just, just yes, it is possible or no, it is not possible. As you are now a Yoruba man, you say, yes. I mean, I retire as a colonel. And in yes. retirement, you have acquired a lot of education for the training. Mm -hmm. but as yes. you, are, you are from northern Nigeria. Would you mm -hmm. retire with your experience and education? Would you retire as a colonel? Uh, of course, there are a lot of people in, in, of my status. You are not that I even left as lieutenant colonel, that I even left as majors. You uh, see, you uh, see, let us let us not bring a uh, sentiment to this thing. But that is the problem. But that is the problem. Yes, you know, there are some people from my side too that left as major general, my colleagues. So, so, you have so, to so, answer my question. My question is. I've answered you. I've answered you. I said, I said the standard, after, after you have reached the rush of colonel, it is, it is politics now, this time around, and not. But that it is not that. Yes. And, and you know that it is the same thing in the educational system that is what mm -hmm. we call the quota system in Nigeria. So how yes. do you address that? And how do you think that the northern Nigeria are going to agree to the quota system? Now, your, the president is from your own tribe and mm -hmm. is, they are bring, trying to bring a tax bill. Mm. Do you know the people that are rejecting the tax bill? There is no single governor from the southern Nigeria. Only the northern Nigeria governors have rejected the bill and they have dropped it. So how do you fix a system like that? You see, it is no point wasting your time, your resources, your energy, and your life trying to serve a failing marriage. And this marriage is not even a willing marriage. It was a marriage that was forced by the balance of the gun. So now we are saying we are not ready to try again. And we are ready to bring everything down. As you are looking at me, I am ready to burn down Nigeria for the interest and the life of my people. And if I have the opportunity today, 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 I will order the burning down from Azero because that's where the killings of my people are being planned. I will bring it down. And the law they have is that I don't have my, I don't have a nuclear weapon or a ballistic measure yet. But if I have it, I will start from Azero because that is where the terrorists is uh, 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 terrorism against my people are being planned. Once Azero is down, everybody will rest. I will begin to discuss the peace. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting videos. I can't wait to see you back here again. Bye-bye.